we not even three there in, in in a minute or a hour or a second in the video. What? What the fuck? <laughs> You to to jury to judge or judge to jail for psycho moment of potential court. What is the crazy moment that y'all know that happened in court? Oh, you you saw yeah. the message? Yes, ma'am. She denied that in my face, and I, I'm the only one in the phone. The message said, "Leave the back door oh, open. And be naked mm -hmm. when I arrive. Be naked when I arrive. I'm not gonna lose her, and I'm not gonna lose him. But then my mom comes in, and it, and it's killing her because we all grew up together. This is insane for them to even be together like this. Miss Cole, without being too graphic, are there any other details, specifics that you can share uh, that would prove your case? I can tell you how big it's Winker is. It's pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. We not even three there in, in, in a minute or a hour or a second in the video. What? What the fuck? Mr. Smith brought his estranged wife to court today to prove that he is indeed the biological father of her four year old daughter, Christina. He says he signed the birth certificate. Yeah, you been no lie. You been no lie about it. He knows that he is her father, and he is just here in court to prove it. Mrs. Kalita Smith says she might have allowed Mr. Smith to sign the birth certificate, but she knows that he is not actually the father of Christina. And, you know, I saw text messages, some photos between uh, my wife. Oh, before we even start, I got a question for y'all. What happened if you start dating the girl and the girl got pregnant, right? And you going and she say she got and there a baby coming away, right? And she didn't tell you if you're the father. And the baby coming and you sign a paper. And at the end, like I said, about like five or six months later, she tell you uh, you end up finding that you weren't the father. And some other cat. What did, what did you see? What was the exchange? Well, it was, it was like it was like you know I I miss you. You know when you miss a person, you know apparently you've seen you've seen them before. You know nude photos. And nude photos of your wife or of the man. I say, Excuse look, me, Your Honor. I've never book. seen any of these alleged text messages that he's talking about. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He was probably telling the truth. Probably. Probably telling the truth. I found out I was pregnant. We were very excited. I told Christian we weren't together. And uh -huh. I thought that this could be a chance for us to reconnect and make our marriage work. And he I, agreed. I, I, and shortly after, we, we got back together. And so you found out you were pregnant. You told Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, when you found out she was pregnant, were you happy about it? I'm extremely happy. You were <laughs> extremely happy. Oh, oh, oh. I, I still, I still want to know if he's the father. And in normal circumstances, that I is enough to stop you from Mr. ending up in paternity court. But father. sometimes even love is not enough. He was so happy that he made sure he was there for the baby's birth, even though it was done through a cesarean section. He also signed the birth certificate and gave the baby his last name. I know everything that goes on in my house, so it's just a CD that I see. That's oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, so if the baby not his, that means you screwed up your damn self. You gave the baby your last name. And sign the birth the kid. Oh, sure, the baby not. Oh, then, then you screw. You screw him. Mr. Smith, screw up damn self. Oh, the number that was on the CD, you know how people can pass I'm sorry, but yes, it'll be a lot of pause me. Right. Because I don't want to be copyrighted. Forget about that number. Period. And I saw an Instagram name. So I immediately go, I look up the Instagram. So I'm, I'm scrolling. You looking up? Yeah. Man, I see some somebody <laughs> holding my daughter. Wow. So Mrs. Smith did not stop her cheating ways. Mr. Smith says that the caption on the photo was of the man claiming Christina as his. That is insane. So who is this man? Well, you're... Another man in the world, you kidding? I, I'm still con convinced if, if he really to fall or not. But another man holding your kid? Do, does she even know this man for her to be having him at this court?
Your Honor, his name is Joseph. I actually met Joseph after we separated and around the time I was very vulnerable <clears throat> and he was the only one showing me any type of attention or any love which I needed mm -hmm. because I felt lonely around the time because my husband left me alone. So you had sex with him? Yes, ma'am. If your husband leaves you because you cheated on him, the best thing to do is probably not to jump into another person's bed without protection when you know you are not mm -hmm. divorced yet. Now, Mrs. Smith did not only do that, but she also told her right. husband that the baby she had by her side man was his when she knew that it could belong to her side piece. That is psychotic. And of course... Her psychotic. And that's why there's some type of devil work right there. That gotta be a devil playing you. The devil gotta be, gotta be working on some uh, por potion and missing up like a witch pot and cooking up some evil scheme. That guy be some devil work. Of course, Mr. Joseph is also in court today to say his piece. We met in a, uh, in a public place, and I saw her walking, and she uh -huh. was in a stroller, and she just looked up at me with like the, a mischievous, like like one of those things, and I was like, "Oh, you know me from yeah, somewhere." I told you, like, I told you, devil been, working like, on her. Might have been my daughter. You did. Yeah, there was something there, like she knew me already. And so, when you met her, did Miss Smith say to you, "This is your child"? When I seen her, I, she looks like just like my dad. And Mr. Smith can do nothing but watch as another man calls his daughter his own. He says he. Oh. Knew that Christina was his child, but he could not take responsibility for her because the, the he was skin not the color right is not off. He would that, see that her, spend time part. with her, the and skin then send her back home to be provided don't, for don't by Mr. Smith. And Mrs. Smith all. never let her husband uh, know about Mrs. this Smith. arrangement like, until he found out for like, himself. And you'd always refer to yourself as dad. Not yes, all. And all but, Mr. Smith, you're also spending time with her? Of course. And and having absolutely no idea this entire encounter occurred. Still referring to yourself as daddy as well. Miss Smith, what I'm, kind I'm of a, web you I'm weaving? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I, give you time to think on it. Now it's time to get to the bottom of this extraordinary I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I still don't know. This, this this Pertaining to whether bring, Mr. Bring Smith or Mr. Right Prater, now. the biological father, is Mr. Prater. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. I know that was not the news you wanted. That's tough. Oh, I know. You should you should already you should know knew that. You should knew that by a skin color and a face. Like come like come on. Like, like the baby is light skinned. You're brown skinned. The baby got a weird looking face. And you only got a weird looking face. Like, come on, Mr. Smith. Like, you could you could have done better than that. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I gotta do. That's my that's my baby. Mr. Andrews says that Miss Corbett forged his signature on the birth wow. certificate of her one year old son and that he's not I I, I guess I guess I guess court court one was just not too bad. We went, went too much, too much animosity or craziness. So that that looked like the start of it. So not the biological father of the child. Miss Corbett insists that this is a lie and that Mr. Andrews is de denying the child because he doesn't want to be responsible and because he has an overbearing mother. Let's hear about this forging business. Uh, mm. Mr. Andrews, why do you believe your signature was forged on Quinn Jr.'s birth certificate? I don't know, Your Honor. I didn't sign anything, and somehow my name still managed to get put on the, the birth certificate. I have a copy of it right here. Let me see so that you, birth certificate. You so me. you say somehow your you name was appeared on the You tell me you sign nothing, but yes, you name it on the birth certificate. Quinn Andrews Sr., name of father, right underneath. She forging your signature without you even knowing. Damn. Take me back to that day. You believe somebody put your name on there? Yes, Your Honor. Now, who could that person be? What a mystery. Anyway, let's ask Ms. Wait, Corbett how Mr. Andrews' name even got on that birth certificate in the first place. Yeah. Ms. Corbett, did you put his name on there? No, it's no way possible for me to put just put his name on a birth certificate. The only reason why he's saying that he did not sign a birth certificate is because his mother told him not to sign my child's birth certificate. I mean, anybody that has kids... And she should know because she has enough. Knows that in order for and, the birth, the and, and all eight the birth of them is well taken care of, baby. Told my son not to sign a birth certificate until he get the blood test approved. Well, this should be easy to clear up. There should be a witness who was there when Mr. Andrews signed this birth certificate, right? 
Did you witness him signing? I was there. So you were there. You no, saw him signing. Not just me. The lady who signed off on under, underneath the, the birth certificate. Yeah, she saw him too. So what you're saying is he didn't do what his mother told him to do. So now he's saying he didn't sign it. Exactly. Excuse me, Yana. If he signed the birth certificate, his name would actually be signed on that form. So you're saying there is no cursive signature? No, at all. It's only his name. Name. Oh, that's a good point. Anyway, it doesn't matter as we will be getting the DNA test later. Yeah. Now, Ms. Corbett says her relationship with Mr. Andrews was never a committed one, and that's because his mother was always meddling in their affairs. But his mama has a different idea. I wouldn't even call it a relationship, Your Honor, because she slept with the whole damn city, the whole neighborhood. Okay. Damn. Well, well, what would you call it? Call me call 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 and mom did calling everything about this girl being this. She slept around with everybody in our neighborhood. If that was true, I would have slept with wow. him because he wanted me to. Stop it. Get some help. Track because this is getting feisty anyway. Miss Corbett says that Miss Smith doesn't know anything about her, so she cannot possibly be a judge on whether she slept around or not. What does Mr. Andrews have to say about all the claims being made? She was possessive. She was verbally abusive. He says I was possessive and verbally abusive. This is the same one that is a cut that walks <laughs> to the candy lady right through our house. It's two minutes away. Every time I'm walking through, he has to stand to the door and watch me like I'm a two year old. Negative. Your Honor. He doesn't. He didn't Your want Honor. me to speak to anybody. I was not allowed to talk to anybody. I was not allowed to even befriend females because he said that was going to be using the excuse. You're honest. She, she is telling me that she can't even have female friends. How how would how would she even cheat with her female friends? The only the only time you, I can see her even cheating like that on you, and y'all got a close relationship. Y'all got a close relationship. And she cheat on you with a female that's different. But if it's open and y'all still not in like the relationship relationship part, then how is is she even cheating? I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let, let, let's finish it and see. Let's finish um let's finish court two and see. Lying. Ah, well, we are going to see who the compulsive liar is today because someone certainly is. But the question is this. Why does Mr. Andrew even doubt this child? Yana, I doubt for the simple fact that while we was together, I happened to clean up the house one day where we stayed at. I found the empty magnum wrapper under the sofa where she claimed was mine, which it wasn't because all of my, we used, I throw away. It was his. Tell him about that day that you came home from work and she had another man running out the back yeah, door. Like a, yeah, one of my not third together. cousins told me that. His mother stayed right across the street from where we stayed at. Like, and I know this the doctor. Diagram you That's submitted to the court. Come up here, please. Those are heavy claims, and Mr. Andrews has a diagram to prove those claims. What does this diagram show? This is right here is a, a two-story apartment building. This right here, like, is the driveway. Like, two feet from the driveway is like the front entrance. It's, it's the same in the back. And right here is a slab and like an empty field. There's no gate around the side of the house, but on this side of the building, it's a gate. And it's obvious my cousin and mama stay right across the street, and she can you can sit right here and like literally watch all this. And if somebody murdered him over here, it'd be real obvious. So obviously, the guy she had in the she even had a bike in, in, in inside the house. That's certainly illustrative, but there's no evidence oh, that all of this that, happened. And not, and not no Ms. Corbett denies good this entirely and says that, that never happened. She also and not says no that they got back together after that to incident. That. It was never it an really issue not. until it came to denying the paternity of the child. Of course, Mr. Andrews says that's not true because, and you guessed it, Ms. Corbett is a compulsive liar. Ms. Corbett, did that happen? No. And I told him that. He asked me about that. I explained to him that that was not true. We was together after that. Man. This was never an issue till just now. Man, she's a compulsive liar. I don't, I don't, well, I'll tell you one man, thing I'm look. not lying about and that's him being the father of my child and that's all, it, once we figure that out, that's their game. None of this is irrelevant. Yeah, right. All right. Thank you, sir. But Mr. Andrews isn't done. He says he even has more doubts and he's got messages on his phone. He got more doubts and more, more, more evidence? Guys was telling, some guy obviously was telling her, leave what? the bag door open and be naked when I arrive. Oh, you, you yeah. saw the oh, message. Oh, 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 Hold up, hold up, man, hold up, 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 a minute. You, you tell me some guy on told you, hey, when I arrive there, you, you better be already naked. Yo, this guy already wants you ready. Wow, oh, wow, 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 wow. I, I, I ain't spare. What? Three or four guys? What does Miss Corbett have to Wait, say? Three or four guys? Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. No. So she might be a train. She might get that train running with her. Did not 
Like, the only reason why he is saying that is because he is standing on side of her. And the other time, whenever I talk liar. to Quinn, I don't hear none of this. Me and Quinn, bitch will lie. Me and Stop Quinn. lying. Ms. Corbett says none of that ever happened, and she says she asked the guy who told Mr. Andrews about the incident of a guy running out of her house, and he said he never told him that. A guy running out? Wait, 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 Mr. what? Mr. Andrews had slept with his girlfriend, which is just way too much drama. Anyway, Ms. Corbett insists that Mr. Andrews has always complained to her about his mother. The problem. I don't need to interfere problem. in my son's life. Yeah. At all. I, I let him yes, he does. Oh, he has told me she that don't. she has told she him don't. that if he come back and talk to me and stuff like that, that she was going to cut him off. So you it's believe you, you believe his mother is standing in between the relationship he could potentially have with Quinn Jr. She does not want Quinn to have his own children because that would mean that he would have to stop taking care of her. There's so much anger and resentment. That ain't wrong. But if that is asking his kid, mo the mama gotta let him be a father. Because you just want your kid to stay with you forever and ever and take care of you like you a big baby. Like you're a grown woman. Like you're probably like in your 50s or, or probably in your 60s and you, and you still got everything you want and know how to take care of yourself. So your son can't be there all the time for you. And where there's that, there's also intimate energy. So Judge Lauren asked the million dollar question. Are you all still sleeping together now? No, man. No. She's still trying to seduce me. I got messages right now on my phone. She's trying to seduce me like every week. So how many times have you seen Quinn Jr.? Like over oh, a dozen times. So you spent quality time That's with him. He does not. Your Honor. Your Honor. I have to beg him a, for the car. He, my child. Like seven he, was, times. he was there six days. It's time to get to the bottom of this. Who's the father, Mr. Andrews, or some other man? Let's see what the DNA has to say. Mr. Andrew, oh, you like, like are you. the father. Let it be known. Damn. The and the right. I've heard too much testimony today that makes me sincerely nervous. This child's five months old. If you had doubt before, that's done now. This is your child. Your child. So, you both have a hand and a responsibility to raise this child accordingly. But you gotta figure Preach. out how to do it. Mr. Preach. Preach. Oh, insist that... I quit too? It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It just, it's just a mother just want to be a big baby, baby and have her son taking care of her for seven. So that's the reason. It's just like the mother is the one who um, brought it all both to the court. That there's absolutely now, court zero three. chance that he fathered the defendant's 16-month-old child, Majestic. And that's because he never actually slept with the defendant. The defendant, Miss mm -hmm. Cole, says that's impossible. And she's 100% certain that Mr. Webb is indeed the father. She says the only wow. reason... He's denying paternity is because he doesn't want to ruin his relationship with his girlfriend. I never had sex with her, Your Honor. I never well, that would rule you out. You uh, never. Yeah, had sex that that with that her. rule that yeah, rule. Uh, She's a liar. Rule She's crazy. crazy. That will rule rule a lot anything. Of this in this uh, court, court three. Rarely have we ever heard it'll, that it'll you never had anything. sex with her. She's absolutely crazy. So you think she's just making this up? Yeah. Yeah. No. You sure? Yes. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is she really well, making it up? Like Cole is let's see. Let, let's see. Sex with whom. Mr. Webb says that he was only ever friends with Ms. Cole and they were never intimate. He even says he never stayed in her bedroom. But Ms. Cole thinks another thing entirely happened. I can't exactly remember, but I know that it was a night that we was partying. Oh, yeah, right. He ain't like that. Your Honor, Your the worst that we've ever done is take a picture. And she was already in the bathroom. She had called me in there. When I walked in the bathroom, she said cheese and took a picture before I could even say anything. I didn't even want to take that picture. That's how crazy she is. She posted There's it on, more she than posts one. She posted more than on one. Facebook and when I told her to take it down, she refused to because she Well one you can tell in that picture and we'll go back by right, inch. Like you can tell in that picture that he got the awkward look, the awkward smile, the pain smile, the nerdy look, probably the desperate look like, like and she got that look like bruh. You you going you going to do what I say? Like like the way she's looking at him, like in the picture, in him, like she like she forcing him to do what he gotta do. You think I didn't even want to take that picture? That's how crazy she is. She posted it on, she posts up. She posted it on one. Facebook, and when I told her to take it down, she refused to because she's crazy. Wow! It seems Miss Cole's mother has some really Man, strong feelings you put about the, this you case. Put the Mr. Webb denies all of this in, in and gets Miss Cole screaming. Big C, big C, big C. Big C. Big C. Big C. Hey, 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 anybody who a crib or a game, I ain't mean nothing about BC. I, I ain't mean nothing about that. 
Why? 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 Why?
Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Walters says that the defendant is her three-year-old son's father. Now, they read in the court three. The court four, actually. For a three-year-old baby. And she Not wants baby, to but Mr. Rogers, the defendant, says this is false and that he has spent two months in jail for missing child support hmm. payments for a child uh -huh. that he insists doesn't belong to him. He is here with his mother to prove that he isn't the father. I slept with another man weeks prior to even conceiving my son, and we did use protection. And at the time I conceived my son, he was the only person that I was having sex with without using protection. I've known them for sure? 20 years now. We grew up together. Uh, we did family oh, vacations are together, you sure? Holidays. We were always... Uh, our families were always together. We grew up, we dated. That didn't really work out in middle school. The feelings came back once we got in high school and we started sleeping together again. So they were having unprotected intercourse in secret. When Mr. Rogers got news that Ms. Walters was pregnant, he told her congratulations and Im immediately asked her to congratulate the father. He says never for once believed that he was the father of her baby. No, no, no. Let me, let me tell you something. If I became a father or something, I'll be so nervous to how to actually, actually like, be a good dad. I have myself having kids, but I never like actually experienced it in real life how it really would happen for me. So if that really happened for me, yeah, I'll try to look up, like figure out ways to figure out how to be a good um, parent. and. He was in a relationship with this other guy, so why would it automatically be mine? You know what I'm saying? But were you sleeping with her during the window of conception? Yes, ma'am. We had slept together. I was not in a relationship, Your Honor, with anybody. She says she's pregnant. You say good luck to you. And now you by yourself. It was hard. He didn't come to any doctor's appointments. I was doing it by myself. And then once I got maybe the real life, he had come be there if he's mine. because he don't, don't really before. know if that me saying if, if you never come to no doctor appointment or anything, then you got then. Dog point anything, and the girl sees that you're not coming, then it's like you don't know if he really your um, kid or not because you don't want to screw up your life, and then you then you gonna feel like you play yourself. Hospital before my son was born. Mr. Rogers' mom says that their families were really close, but the pregnancy has ruined all of that because Mr. Rogers insists that he's not the father. I was his best friend growing up, literally best. She was friend. like one of my children, Your Honor. <laughs> Ever since this happened, it's just completely killed it's everything. Tomorrow's Families apart. don't hang out no more. That. And so, Miss Sanders, I can see this is really upsetting. And I apologize for that. No, you don't have to apologize. You're upset because first you had no idea. No, I would have never allowed them to spend days and nights and all in my house because to me they were like brother and sister oh you can see how all of this would completely ruin the family oh. dynamics let's see how that looks from the perspective of mrs rogers did you know if miss walters was intimate with anyone else yeah later on i did because i found a bunch of condoms in her stuff when i went through it because i checked and your honor kids with, that was from the health department they give you condoms at the health department and that was right after i went to the health department i went to her house the health department gave you condoms if the health department give you calling, then why do you, you you still have them calling? Like, uh, you could you could have thrown them away or something. Like, yeah, the health department. Uh, wait, the health department probably don't give you no calling. What you? I, I want to hear this. I want to hear. But the bottom line is, when you found them, you said to yourself, "She must be sexually active mm -hmm. now." Yes, sure. But you weren't aware of that before. I had heard that. Despite hearing the rumors, Mrs. Rogers says that and doesn't think that her son could be the father. She says immediately she was informed that there was a chance. She asked her son, and he told her that he wasn't the father, so she took him at his word. All right, I was not in delivery room when he was born, so therefore my name is not on that birth certificate. I've had no DNA, but DNA established the whole time he has been in this world. How am I on child support? I was out of town working when the court date was set up for the DNA test. So I missed the court date. Automatically rules me as the father. Yes. I'm thinking, how am I on child support? There's been no DNA, no birth certificate signed. There's no connection to me and that boy. Well, that's how default judgment works. If you don't show up, you immediately become the father. And since Mr. So you tell me, if you don't show up for the court, the court DNA test to see if you're really the father, you automatically become the father of that kid. What, Ken? That, 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 that's stupid. That's stupid on all levels. 
Rogers didn't pay child support, he was arrested and locked up for two months. I ended up going to this little country jail where, I don't know, it's like a little, it's not even a jail, it's a little barn thing. And they locked me up there for three days. They don't feed you on weekends, but like two times a day. And it's these little bitty gnats. I don't even know what it was, to be honest with you, Your Honor. Then I had to wait till Monday for Monroe County to drive down there and pick me up and transport me back to Monroe County where I sat two months. That's what happens when you don't pay child support, Mr. Rogers. Next, we have Ms. Walters. Yep. Why he, why he on child support? To give her testimony. He, he, Do you he, believe why he in shock that he don't know the baby he, he no, is or not? Well, he don't know that. We were all young. We all done our different things. We were all partying. We were together every day, all the time. Every time we went out, we went out together. We done everything together. Uh -huh. I, I was aware of her sleeping with the other guy. She also stated the next morning that she did sleep with him. Ms. Rogers says that the other person is more likely to be the father of the baby and not her brother. Her reason is that Ms. Walters didn't know who the father could be when she got the pregnancy pregnancy test, but now is claiming that Mr. Rogers is certainly the father. When she realized she was pregnant, yes. and in that moment, yes. she admitted yeah, to and, you and that there me, were two uh, possible think that fathers, which I Mr. knew Rogers can't the party, be a she father. did tell me that she slept with the guy the morning after she slept with him, and that was, you know, weeks prior to this happening, of course, weeks prior to her, her finding out she was pregnant. Well, that's a lot to take in, but the DNA test is here now, and it's time to get to the bottom of this. Who's the father, Mr. Rogers, or some other man? Mr. Rogers. You are his father. I'm sorry. Both of you all. I get Court one? Well, okay. Court two? Wait, we're up there. Court three? Don't want to explain that. Court four? Mm. Like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell.